everyone, Alexandra here again. Today we are looking a bit into Amazing Marvin, and this tool is another task management slash project management tool. And I have and will continue to have lots of tutorials on this since I did work kind of in the industry before. So if you ever have any questions related to any project management tool, just let me know. Now, with this tool, the first thing you'll notice is that it's quite different from the others out there. The interface and basically the positioning of the features is the same, basically. But the way in which things work and how you get started with actually working on your tasks is different. Whenever you first open Amazing Marvin, the most straightforward thing to do is to plan your day. So you're just going to click on plan day. And this is where you start bringing in tasks from your list. So you can have a master list, smart list, or labels and other things like that, where you essentially store your to-dos and then you just bring them over to your daily task list. You can pull a task like technical SEO checks in here, or you can add a task manually like SEO meeting. And as you start adding more and more of these tasks, you will see here at the top kind of a rough breakdown of how many tasks you have to work on, how long they will take, and how your workflow for today compares to an average day. Then you can just take each task one by one and complete them. Or if you're like me and don't like to go through the to-dos one by one, you can just click on all done and then go maybe to just click these all at once or you can leave them for a different day if you haven't managed to finish them and that's when you would want to just reschedule some of these items now this is for your kind of list of tasks but then you've also got the option to go to your master list and this is where you can create a category like development click on it and then you can start pulling in tasks for the development part so for example like front end stuff maybe some bugs whatever and for every single task you have a couple of options plus remember you always have the option to sort all of these by duration priority and other aspects that could help you better organize your work for let's take the bugs task. You have the option to set a time estimate, like 15 minutes, write a note. So this is like a description of the task. You can also schedule it. So for example, for tomorrow, you can just edit this and there's like a couple of options in here. Basically everything we can also just do from here. You also have the option to add subtasks. And this is like super handy and there's still some task management tools that don't have this. So maybe you want to have a meeting after you fix this or maybe it's a more complex task and you need to break it into multiple small chunks. And basically this is it. If you're looking for a tool that would have kind of like advanced features for the subtasks, this is not it. It's just simple. You have the subtask. You can complete it and that's it. Now, before I move on, I want us to look at some of the other options here at the top. So you have the option to switch between views just in case you prefer this list view, which reminds you a bit of maybe Asana or this column view, which is more specific for Amazing Marvin. And then you have some extra settings here, including the option to configure the view as you wish and to just keep maybe the sidebar on the side and of course some filters. Now next I want us to look at the calendar feature. So this is super handy. Again, you can sort it by maybe a week or a month. Ideally go for something like five days because that's how ideally you should be working. For this calendar, you can just go ahead, let's say it's next week and start planning some of your tasks. 
So for example, you might want to do something in the morning for two hours and write a task like analysis for whatever. You can make sure that it's a task or turn it into an event. And then you can just add some estimates to, you know, how long it will take and some extra notes and click on save. And you've got the task in here and you can just come in and add multiple tasks kind of like this. Maybe you can keep some breaks in between. So kind of like this. And the thing is that you will be able to also work on them within this format, so within the calendar, if you prefer a view like this. Then we have the timers. Now, timers in Amazing Marvin don't work like a time tracker, so your time is not being tracked. Instead, you are using these timers to actually stay productive and get reminders of when you are supposed to maybe end your task. And you've got two options, a regular timer that gives you like a beep when the time you've set is over. So for example, after an hour, you will hear the beep as many times as you want to or infinitely until you stop the timer. Or you have the option to work using the Pomodoro technique. So with chunks of focused deep work followed by short breaks and you know a couple of cycles for this and you will have the timer here at the bottom you can also just click on it and make it larger kind of like this then we have on the left side some stats and this just kind of tells you how many tasks you had for the week or for the month and it's not super detailed yet you also have like a rough archive of things that you've completed. This is good maybe for managers who want to get a better idea of exactly what happened in uh, the past. So over the previous week. And then you have this interesting feature, which is called strategies. And this is a way for you to customize the way in which you work. You can go ahead and maybe let's say you don't want to have the timer feature in here you can just turn it off and it will disappear so it doesn't clutter your workspace so this is super interesting because it helps you keep the focus only on the features you need and for every single of these options you also have some extra settings so that you can maybe choose a sound you want the tool to play when a task is over or you also have some interesting features that help you kind of prioritize your tasks. So for example, the eat that frog option, I'm just clicking on this, going to the settings to make sure it's correct. And then I'm going to my tasks and you'll see this frog here. And then you can just go and basically select a frog kind of like this. You can also just have multiple ones and this is just a fun way of kind of highlighting some of the tasks you're not so happy to be doing but you can also use the usual priority levels to guide your day and of course you have some settings related to just the interface and the way you want your navigation to look like for example you can have a bottom menu like this and there is quite a few options in here. And honestly, I haven't seen this level of customization with any other project management tool. So this is kind of why the tool is called Amazing Marvin. So you have a bunch of just extra options in here you can opt for, including like calendar syncing events, which I showed you kind of how to create as we were working on the calendar and some time management options including a time tracker if you want to some teaming there's just lots of options in here and you can even gamify your system with for example reward points or reward tasks and there's also just a lot of extra options including the super fun procrastination count and just a lot of other kind of experiments you can play with 
yes, we also have dependencies, but again, you will have to go to the strategies to set these. And maybe an end date and a start date will also be something that's super important for you. There's also like this section for decision maker tools. So essentially, these are all exactly what the feature says they are strategies for tackling your tasks. So, for example, if you're not exactly the best at choosing what task to work on next, you can just opt for something like a random task feature. Now, of course, this is not the best practice if you have strict deadlines, but if you have a lot of tasks that are within the same area, it's okay to go for these. And of course, you have just a lot of fun things in here. I recommend you use also this beat the clock option. It's perfect if you are a procrastinator and like to extend your work time as much as possible because you can set a let's say deadlines or a time estimate. So you can say that you're going to be working on a task for half an hour and then you can start this timer and you're basically competing against yourself to actually make it and finish the task within that time frame. And of course, you have a lot of extra options in here, including some integrations, and some fun things like goals and objectives, maybe habits if you want to track these. I'm just adding this to the sidebar for now. And again, you can just keep track of everything that's going on in the strategies section because the amazing Marvin team does keep introducing these features. And you might also find these maintenance strategies helpful if you are a manager and need to keep track of everything that's going on. So now when you're going back to your tasks, for instance, you will see quite a few extra features in here. For example, in here, we get the procrastination count in here, which shows us that we haven't worked on this task, even though the deadline maybe was a while ago. You also have the option to see if you've earned any reward points, then if we go to our master list, this is also going to be a bit different because now when we go to one task, so the features, the settings are in here. The first thing before the time estimate is the time tracker. Just remember to stay kind of within this dashboard or window to actually start and stop your timer. And you can also go here to add timer and you even have a timer on top of this besides the time tracking option. So if you now click in here and we go over the task, we can see that we've worked on this for a couple of seconds. So the point is that the tool does have a lot of hidden features you can use. You just have to go to the strategies section. You can even sort them from here, from the newest additions, which are just usually going to be super fun. But the team does include these based on your suggestions and on what you need. So do reach out to their support team if you need a feature. Also, if you're not sure how a feature works, just click on this and you will get a description and the settings for this. So this tool is really fun to use. I would say that tools like Asana and Monday.com and ClickUp can also be fun to use, but they don't have the extra features that help you keep track of your procrastination or any fun frogs or any fun elements and gamification options. I would say that Amazing Marvin is definitely a tool that honestly a lot of people don't know about yet. And there's also some kind of usability problems. For example, there's features that you just have to know where they are to actually activate them. So for example, for the frog, you know, it's in here. Then there's like the prioritization option in here. And then if you move your mouse over to the right side, you have some extra settings in here. And then, you know, you can just explore the plus sign to create maybe some new tasks. And in here, if you have the reward task option on, you can just create the task 
like this just click on this and then click on in inbox and now you can go to your master list go to inbox and you have the gift task which is the reward task set in here and then if you go back to your tasks you have to scroll to the top to get the new feature we've added which is the matrix remember you can always just edit these as you go but the thing is it does take a while to actually get used to the tool now if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and i will see you next time enjoy the day bye